Yo, what's good people? Welcome to day 45 of the weight loss transformation, the mindset transformation, and most importantly of all, the lifestyle transformation. And this morning, we've gone up again. That's two days in a row. Oh my goodness. I'm going to quit the channel. It's to be expected. Two days ago, I did eat a smaller meal than I normally eat, earlier than I normally eat. So we saw a huge drop of about four pounds overnight. Again, multitude of reasons. I spoke about that in yesterday's video, so check that one out. We're still doing absolutely fantastic. So where we're weighing in today is probably where we would be regardless if I didn't have that massive drop. We were 351 a few days ago, now 349. We're heading in the right direction. I know we've put on a little bit of weight. It's to be expected from eating more food than we were. And actually, I ate quite late yesterday, much later than I have done for a good while and I just had these beef sausages. I keep forgetting to show my meals. I can assure you and I can promise you I am eating zero carb. So I had beef sausages yesterday and then the day before that I had a load of chicken wings and then today I had some bratwurst and a steak, which isn't that high actually in calories again. So be interested to see what the scale is saying. All these meals keep me very, very full and yes, these meals are OMAD, one meal a day, but yesterday I did eat about three o'clock i think which is much later than i normally i normally have my food done around 12 so that's might be another reason why the scale's gone up because i had food in my system and ate later so the time between food and scale was less and i got up a bit earlier today back up at quarter past two because i was heading to this gym not my other gym so yeah, that's why the scale's probably up. And guess what? It doesn't matter. I'm not too strong up on the scale. Every single day I see changes and I feel good. And a lot of the time the scale weight, it could be just fluctuations. That's how it goes. We all know it. Uh, before I get comments about it, I do weigh daily because it's the premise of the channel. It's just how I've gone. And that's, that's why I don't weigh weekly. So yeah, that, that's the end of that one. Bang in some shoulders today. This is probably my favorite day, my favorite way to train because I can just sit up straight. It's, it's hard, but it's not too hard, if that makes sense. Like I'm, I'm putting in the work for sure. Four plates here, 20 kg a plate, 80 kg um, aside. I don't know what that is in total, but it, it went pretty well. Got a fair few reps here. It is easy on a machine. I can't load that up, obviously, on... Uh, like a normal bench or even the Smith machine, the machine is made to be a bit easier for you. But I definitely feel it absolutely fantastic. Gets you in the right plane of motion. It just feels really good. Gives me an insane pump and grinding, man, moving some heavy weight. I know that's kind of what made my elbow a bit dodgy a few weeks ago and I can't help it. I get the music on and I start pressing and absolutely love it. And then today I was taking a different approach from my flies. I don't know if you make it this far in the video or if you've seen other ones. I tend to go moderately heavy. Flies can be quite hard. Um, to stack up the weight but here i'm banging out some 20 kgs i was going through the approach where I, I was feeling pretty tired to be honest with you i didn't actually sleep the best um so i wanted to get in and out rather than doing a load of drop sets i i just went really really heavy on these so that was 14 kg as a kind of warm-up into 20 kg a decent set now 16 kg i don't know what these are in pounds i'm really really sorry um, actually, no, though, that 20 kg is probably about 40 something pounds, which is very heavy for a last level raise. And I do use a slight bit of momentum, but I know how to keep it on the muscle as well. And just getting some partials. Definitely, if you're training shoulders doing lateral raises, some partials are key. I'm telling you, that burn at the end, it might not look like the biggest range of mo uh, moment movement. But even here, I'm just banging out some parts. This was a drop set, actually. The 16 into the 12s was a drop set. And just feeling myself with the pump here. Definitely feeling very, very pumped. Obviously pushing in my belly and sucking in. But we got some mass up top people for sure. But I'm going to wrap up here. I've been your boy, Tom. I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Day 46. Bye-bye.